Hello everyone, this is Sander with another short video new feature in Katrain version 1.7. To show this particular feature, I will use a problem from the book shown on the left, The Fundamental Principles of Go, which is by a Chinese professional and only published in English in 2004, so well before AI, but also not terribly old. Here we have the position, and the question is, at the, the first problem in chapter 1, which of the four moves in the top right corner should you play to the best combined with your other moves on the side? And one of the things it teaches is that if you have this move on the side, then the start point works the best with it. So it's interesting to see to what extent Kazuga agrees with this and what the actual result of the game is. And after you run about 80,000 visits on this, we see that. The three four points are preferred, the three three point is preferred after that, and the four four point is least preferred. So in some sense, the AI disagrees with the professional here, uh, although the differences are really quite small. So the, the maximal difference is the 0 0.4 points, which is barely below, uh, barely above, sorry, noise that you would normally get with low visits, although this is going to, to quite a... Depth. What I'd like to show a bit is first I use the new region search to search only these four moves. Then I actually click through to all four points and I hit L and this plays out the game to the end using the fast visit setting. So let's have a look. So it's now using 50 visits with the 20 block model. And you can see here a new child node is added in which the entire game is played out. This uses another new feature, which is collapsing of branches in the move tree. If you do this, you can see I've collapsed the moves needed to set up the position. And it does this automatically here. Of course, you can uncollapse this and get the entire game. But we can see here in each of these four moves, let's keep the region, uh, what would happen. So in this case, if you play the move instantly, it thinks white wins by 1.6. And white will get the corner and black will get territory along the side and the rest is pretty uncertain. So let's see what a hypothetical end state looks like. All right, it seems there's been some fight for the center that white has lost thanks to black's influence, but white got a sizable corner and black wins by 13.7. This is still the 4-4 point. White again gets the corner, and black kills some white thing again here, and gets the opposing corner and wins by 2.6. A third position, white again gets the corner, and even though white lives here in the center, it comes at the cost of the top left, which seems solidly white here. This is very interesting. And in the fourth position, White gets this corner, black gets the side, but again kills the top left. So quite a lot of things can happen, but you're definitely giving up the corner and this influence is probably used in some fight. What is interesting here to me is that all four games here, black wins, even though the instant evaluation suggests white wins and this is the worst move. Of course, four games is hardly the world's best sample size, but and still gives an idea of what can happen. Let's have a look at the preferred move from the AI, which is the 3 4 point. Thinks white will win by 1.1. And we can see here that indeed black gets some corner territory. Um, white gets to approach and build something in the center here without dying. And white wins this game. Get some other small parts. Let's have a look at another example. Here again, black is the corner. White gets something close to the corner thanks to the approach. And black uses its influence to win a fight here. So we have one black, one white. A third game. Black again gets the corner. White gets something near it. We see very consistent patterns here, even though the games are very different. And we're not even looking at how the games turned out. And in the third game, 
you see a similar pattern. So we have two for white, two for black here, which is interesting. It's significantly worse than uh, the move preferred by the professional. Even as I said, the sample size may not be big enough to uh, draw very strong conclusions. Let's set a fourth game running here. You could just do pretty much anything in the program while this is going on in the background. So here we have the other three, four, the one that's least preferred, but still considered like the second best move. And you see immediately that white wants to approach. And you pretty much also see that. Yes, black gets some territory here, but white again gets to reduce some of the influence and, and build the territory on the side and win this game quite significantly. Here we see that white's approach was killed, but white got some compensation. Here we see that white got a pretty low position on the side, but on, on both ends and wins significantly. And here we see white got the corner, got to kill everything. Well, that's interesting. Let's have a quick look. So yeah, black tanukis and eventually gets surrounded and gets his eyes gouged out. Collapse back. So here we see that white wins three out of four games with this uh, less preferred 3-4 approach, but still the second preferred move by the AI. And finally, we have the 3-3 point, which was the third preferred move by the AI, but probably by the professional considered to be strange because you have these high stones here and white to a low stone here. And it thinks white wins by 1.2 here. And we see that in the first game, black gets this corner, but not much else. And white gets to build a lot on that side. Second game, white actually kills the corner. This is again very interesting. I think it, it reveals a very flexible mindset of the AI. Whereas a human would almost never give up this corner after playing a 3-3 stone. And we see white wins by a small margin. Here we see black gets the corner as expected, but white gets a significant position, similar to the 3-4 point. And black wins by a small margin. And here we see black wins by a 5-point margin, after also losing this corner territory. In some, well, nobody gets the corner territory, but it's not... Okay. So here, these are 50-50. So what we have here is that, interestingly, although the AI on first sight at the Fusiki seats does not prefer the 4-4 move that this professional is suggesting, if you play out the game a couple of times, we see that it is certainly not a bad move and it seems to be the best, although I said the sample size is not perfect. In any case, I hope this showed you the power of this new self-play feature. and made you perhaps a little bit less confused about this collapse node thing, which is not so obvious. Uh, it is both under C and under the uh, expand collapse feature. Well, if you have any ideas for other problems, let me know and enjoy.